In the polar dry system, we can send the most polar component to the outside of the droplet and the least polar component to the inside of the droplet. And what that gives us in the, in the case of an oil and water emulsion is a very well encapsulated final product. In terms of temperature, in a traditional dryer, you're going to have a, an initial constant rate drying period where almost all of your heat transfer to the particle is going to be latent heat. You're driving evaporation. And that evaporation is going to keep the product temperature relatively cool. But as your drying cycle progresses, many materials will form a shell. And, and when that happens, your evaporation rate drops, you switch to a period of sensible heating where you, where you raise the temperature of the particle to a point where you can drive off the, the solvent from inside that shell. Because we are able to, in a polar dry, stratify those components, we, we are not getting a shell formation. So you can prolong the latent heating phase. Of course, there's going to be some sensible heating at the end, but we are able to dry without relying on sensible heating to remove residual moisture. The nozzle in this system is, is really the, the main difference between an electrostatic spray dryer and, and any other traditional dryer. We use a, a two-fluid atomizing nozzle. Essentially, you have a liquid feed, which is one fluid, and you have a nitrogen feed, which is your secondary fluid. and as the liquid is pumped through the inner electrode of the nozzle, we apply a high voltage, low amperage charge. It's an externally mixing nozzle, so the, the nitrogen doesn't atomize the liquid until outside of the nozzle. But as soon as it's atomized, that, that is when the charge has taken full effect. But other than that, it's a co-current, so we introduce heated air in, into the atomized spray. It, it dries rapidly and the rest of the system is, is generally designed to separate the product from the exhaust airflow. Uh, and it comes out you, on a production system, usually it feeds a, a vacuum takeaway. And on our larger systems, we dehumidify the exhaust air and reheat and re-inject. Re